There's 10,000 artists, I'm told, around Santa Fe and Taos. I heard that figure many years ago. And among them, at the top of the list, you would find Jack Smith or Jack Richard Smith. He's a standout artist and an artist whose paintings tell, his, uh, tell you what sort of a painter he is and then people that know the technical side of painting We'll see a lot more. I grew up in the lake country of western Michigan, near the shores of Lake Michigan, um, on a fruit and dairy farm my great-grandfather started um, when he came from England. My father was adopted, took over those farms. We had hundreds of acres to roam on. We had horses, uh, we, uh, miles and miles of trails through the forest. There was really nothing in the background of my family to suggest uh, a, a life in the arts. We disappear in a way into the process. The process takes over. And um, when, um, and I suppose it's a good metaphor for life, when we disappear and get out of the way, that's when magic happens. The picture is making itself. The picture is happening itself. I've spoken with a lot of my writer friends that the process of, of writing, poetry in particular, um, is that, that somehow we get out of the way and the thing forms itself. The painting, in a way, paints itself. Um, I'm there to witness that. Coming to know Jack was a process of getting to know his, his work, as well as his own personality. And I've always responded very favorably to his personality, which is very cool. But gradually, I came to know his work more, and uh, that developed an even greater respect for him. And then he went and painted me. <laughs> and uh, that sort of made it a, a bond or a relationship there. Well, there's a peculiar life to his portraiture. Um, for one thing, um, you always know who it is, if you know that person. I mean, it's just like there's some way of capturing a, a person's gestures and expressions that um, come across very clearly through his work. I always knew from the time I was a little boy what it was that I wanted to do. And when all the other little boys wanted to be firemen and doctors and cowboys, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I didn't even really know what that was, except that I spent all of my time drawing. I had a friend who was helping uh, Dennis Hopper um, edit the last movie. and. Um, he was living at the, at the big house, the Mabel Dodge house. And um, well, I woke up the next morning and um, looked at the mountain and went to a pay phone, called my wife and said, um, sell everything, um, we're moving. kind of awesome skill that, uh, that exists in, in the, the way he composes his pieces that seems so uh, relaxed and, and uh, uh, straightforward. Uh, I, that kind of casualness of appearance is uh, 
very magical and um, extremely rare, uh, especially in in kind of classically figurative painting. And uh, his way past a discussion of his techniques or anything like that. And he's he's into what he's doing with the kind of in internal understanding uh, that comes through in the feeling of the work. There's an extraordinary charm in, in uh, Jack's work that gives it great strength. <laughs>